Hello and welcome back guys. Wish you all a very very happy new year and the very first thing I do is apologize for being irregular. Actually I had some personal things going on but I'm back now and today onwards there will be regular videos as it used to be. Now let's uh, start with today's video. I have something very very special today. Today we'll be doing a passport holder mock-up. So without any further ado let's begin so like every other video that we do and uh, the easiest way actually to do is the very first thing as you know we select the paint tool and then select all the uh, corners of this uh, passport holder all right we basically uh, outline the object now before uh, starting you can press ctrl plus and zoom in the screen to see uh, your object better and uh, you know select it in a better way so after you do that, decrease the opacity of this shape that you have created around your object because it helps you see your own object even more clearly. So after you've done with it and satisfied, you go and check the add anchor point tool. All right. And then the curves that you have left out while selecting the outline in the very first go with the pink tool, you select those parts and you make them curvy. All right, the, the points you have missed out, you include them in your outline. And it is very easy to do with the add anchor point tool as you can see I am doing here. While doing it, take your time, no hurry. And as you can see that uh, I have zoomed into the object. And uh, as you can see it now, I am done with uh, all the selecting parts. You can check once. Uh, now you can press Control minus and zoom out of the picture because all the selection part is done. So now you can see your object clearly at once. Now press Control on the shaping layer and then you'll see there is a selection that has been created and then press Control J and that's how you get a subtraction of this whole selection part from the background. So this is just the selection part without the background. Okay, now with the rectangle tool, you make a rectangle right on top of this object or the passport holder in this case and make sure that you make the size of, of the rectangle as close as to the size of the object you have. All right, now pressing on the rectangle, you convert it to smart object. As you know, your smart object doesn't have the shape of your object, right? So now what we do, we press control and select that outline layer. And then we, we put it on this uh, smart object layer and mask it out. For masking it out, you will see there are uh, options in the lower end. We'll now add some final touches by uh, adding the design of the book. Alright, so you can select uh, your own design from anywhere you like or you can uh, make your own design too. Uh, here I have already selected what design I want to use. I'll just go drag that design and put it on my smart object. Now, after I have adjusted the size and made everything as I wanted it, we will have to save the picture because without saving the picture, you cannot update the uh, main image of yours. All right. So as soon as you save it, your picture would be updated. Your object would be updated. Now, after that, you remember we had already made uh, an outline cover and now we will press Ctrl J and copy that outline one more time. And then we would transfer that on top of the smart object. Now, then you transfer it from normal to linear word. Next, you will make another copy similarly, but this time transform it to linear dodge add. Now name the previous layer as shadow and this layer, this current layer that you just made, name that as midtone. And then on midtone's uh, layer, you press Control L and go to levels and adjust the levels according to your uh, satisfaction or according to your requirements you want it so as you can see we already have a really really nice effect now we will uh, copy another layer and name that as light and from linear burn or normal you can go to read mode and there as you can see the picture would have a whitewashes effect but then again you press ctrl l and adjust the levels according to your requirements now as you can see we have already got the texture of our uh, cover now i will show you how you can color the background also so uh but before that, you do one thing, you rename all the layers here so that it's easier for you to understand or your client to understand that, uh, okay, these are the layers and everything, okay, which are editable and which are not. After you're done with that part, you can simply uh, go to the background layer and take a solid color. As soon as you do that, your background will be filled with a solid color, but it doesn't look very realistic, does it? So to make that realistic, we would change the mode. 
you just change the mode from a uh, normal to linear mode and then there you go you have your uh, background and your uh, object with the proper texture so that's it for today thanks for watching i hope you have liked the video then uh, do not forget to subscribe our channel because every week we try to come up with new videos and we tend to bring very interesting and unique objects for you all so we hope to see you soon thanks for watching